What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the FC Jury Career Mode and today we're gonna face young boys twice in the league in the league and in the Schweizer Cup. Schweizer Pokal, sorry. Um I'm gonna give a worse squad to the young boys in the league because I want to go as further as possible in the Schweizer Cup because you can say we don't have much to do in the league. We have a a lot of point we're a lot of points behind young boys and basil so there's nowhere else to go just need to keep the third position and the Schweiz Pokal is a cup which uh, I would like to win really very much so I'm gonna give my best um, in the other match so we're attending a pre-match press conference between young boys and Zurich so hopefully you can do a lot in this match but mostly in the Schweiz Pokal so Popovich isn't in good form I don't know why they're still saying this he isn't in good form so Mr. Z, in your opinion is there a chance that young boys will win the match against your team there is a possibility of course obviously So, will you be able to motivate your team against an opponent placed in second in the league? We need we need no extra motivation. We are we're professionals. We're always motivated. So, guys, the formation I've put out today is very very interesting. So, same formation as before, but the dif very different players. So got Sorta, Nathan and Omaragic in this three then the, the full backs the right wing backs are Winter and Scramble. Winter is very interesting so didn't want to play Brito because he's very not attacking Winter could play as right back and I really wanted to see how he played there so is this, we already know that he's not going to be here next season as he left for uh, I don't know who he's going to play for so I wanted to try him, Kriezu and Popovic in the middle, very interesting C CDM, CMs, Sean Bochler, Mahi and Khalifi, the old boys are back together in the 3-0. So guys we are here, I have a lot of pressure, it's a very important game, which is pe being played like a joke with the formation we've put out. It's really like a joke. Hopefully they get tired and hopefully I don't know if players do really do get tired of the opposition if you play matches in a row against them. I don't think so, but we'll see. What the fuck, man? Already, already, man. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Scripted man, it's so scripted, you can't do nothing against this. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Look how scripted this is. They just go into your defense. Look how scripted, it's so impossible. Ed Korn should have saved that so much. Look how did Korn not save that now. Look, he just needed to put his hand. But he just didn't. Time for the cross. He's got what the, the fuck? Great Great from Philip Korn. Can they hit on the break? Oh, a nice looking pass. Crazy. Woo! Goal, guys! We scored with Crazy. Oh my God, man! We so dominated this match. I don't know how. Crazy is very good. Winter is very good as well. Oh my god, man, Creasy is really good. I'm gonna be playing him much more often now that I know he's that good. Oh my god. This formation is not bad at all. We go level now with Creasy's goal. Oh my god, guys! I can't believe it! Who scored? Who scored? Somebody's. We got a goal. Khalifi scored and we're going 2 1 up. I can't believe this, guys. We've turned it around like this. 
The winter is so good, guys. Sean Buckler, Khalifa, these guys are legends. These guys are legends. Oh my god, what the fuck was fucking that? Fucking volleyball, what the fuck were you playing? I can't believe this fucking goal came. No way off of Sean McClane. Oh my god guys, Mahi scores and we go back in front. Oh my god, I can't believe these players are doing this. These caliber players, all the players are doing this. Oh my god. <coughs> Look at this guys, Sean Buckler again with his fake gets and this shot from Mahi gets us in front. Oh my god. What a finish that was. Popovic. Sean Buchler, Mahi, Sean Buchler, Sean, we could get the fourth goal. Oh my god, what a goal this is! Oh my god, I've even dribbled the keeper. Oh my god, guys, this game is absolutely incredible. This game is incredible without Ryu again with Winter, with Sean Buchler, with Crazy, with Popovic. Oh my god, this game. Especially though Sean Buchler, he's even winter though, he, everybody is so different in this formation, this, these players, everything feels such so much easier. The game should end here now guys though, the game should end here, the game does end here guys, full to win, what a game this was, I can't believe we even do, did this. I so didn't expect it. Yeah, we did deserve to win. Of surely we did deserve the win, but I didn't expect it at all. So guys, we are here in the interview, post-match interview. So Paul Fulvic is continuing his hot run of four. How satisfied are you with his performance today? Must keep momentum. Um, congratulations FC Zurich defeated the league's second place team. How pleased are you with FC Zurich? Well done to the lads. I so didn't expect this. This was really good. Did you expect to beat young boys today? Mm. FC Zurich, that, no I didn't want to say this but it was the best answer out of that shitty answer. <laughs> So guys, we get back the youth squad report now. We've got Luffy was going out by overall and got potential stayed the same. Montedon is getting shit, so you have to gash, gash, gash. That, you, you, I'm sorry, man. There's nothing to do with you anymore. Ebel, his his potential is the same. His rating, I think, went up. I don't know. Maze, his potential is gone up by the minimum and gone down by maximum. The clerk is going up by becoming really good now. The clerk, the other one, is becoming worse. Even, but this the clerk is older and worse, but has a better potential. This the clerk is younger, better, and has a worse potential. Why? So guys, this is the formation we're gonna use now. It's the better formation. The better formation, but will it perform better? than the other one did. Did young boys play a worse team for the league for them to play better in the Schweiz Cup? Who knows? Schweiz Cup, I don't know how you say it. I tried to pronounce it right, but I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. So we've got Nathan and Omaraji who are a bit tired. Even Korn actually is a bit tired, but let's try to go with this formation. Hopefully it keeps on well. Hopefully we can win and proceed to the next round. So guys, we're here for the quarterfinals of the Schweizer Cup. Nice I think we're playing at home. Yes, yeah, Stadion Lidsgrund. Lidsgrund. 
Leeds Grooms. Leeds Grooms. I don't know how you say it. So this fix is just very important, guys. Don't let me down right now. So there is us versus Young Boys, Basil versus Lugano, Gallen versus Tervet, Sion versus Xamax. So if I think if we win, we will go against Basil. So I don't think we do, we do have we do stand a big chance in this competition. But still, let's try to do our best. Come on, Dongoni. Oh my god, this guy is becoming so good out of nowhere. And he scores again. It's like four goals in two episodes. In the last month, he's, I think he scored three goals. Now he scored a goal. And oh my god, guys. I, I, I'm playing really well, apparently. Great from Del Vegan. Matcha goes to Dongoni and scores with his left foot. It's corner now. Sp Spielman. Oh my god, made a mistake. Clear it. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. In towards the far post. Good. Slipping it through. Great pass for De La Vega. Oh my god, uh, he bottled it again. You need, to, you need to stop losing chances. Try to go to in a row. Oh my god, great save from Philip Korn. No! No! What the fuck, man? How does it... Get, why? How do they get this lucky? How do they get this lucky? I really need to understand this. How can anybody get this lucky in a game? Look at this! Look at how lucky he is! It bounced off Nathan's head! It's always Nathan's head! He has such a big head! His head is so big, it's always the problem! You need to tell me how lucky he gets though! Come on Lucas in Mecha! In Mecha! Oh my god, still a chance! Shoot Tom Gioni! Come on! No way! What a save that was! Oh my god, no way! No way, this cannot not be scripted. This can't not be scripted. Have you seen that? Maroni shot a terrible shot and an absolutely incredible chance. And the keeper saved that. Even Domgoni should have scored in the first place. This can't not be scripted. It can't. Karabetze. Come on, De La Vega! So close! Game ends here, apparently. Do we have extra? I think we have extra time. Mecha! Mecha scores! Oh my god, 2 1. We go up again, guys, and we have the chance to make a 2 on 2 wins on young boys guys with this goal from Lucas and Mecha oh my god guys finally we get the goal we needed to go up front we really deserve this guys we work for it hard oh, we give them blood for this goal guys guys how did he score what a goal did he do what is it even glitched <laughs> Come on, Karabetze. Karabetze. Fake shot in for some. Who scores and we go 3 1 up? Guys, I think the game is closed now. I think we have won the match. I don't think we're going to concede two goals. And I think we should do some substitutions now to keep some players fresh for the next match. What a goal, guys. Finally. We get what we actually deserve. The game ends here, guys. 3-1 and we won two games in a row against Young Boys. Both of them with over three goals. Both of them with two goals more. And guys, now I'm satisfied with this team. Finally, we, so we go to semi-finals. We do an objective, so. And we win to them against in the league, so. I can't say I'm not satisfied. So guys, 
I've seen the, the results and Lugano have beaten actually Basel, which is incredible. So a comfortable win. Comfortable? Com really wasn't that comfortable. I am focused on silverware, that's the answer. A comfortable win after three goals scored. It wasn't comfortable. The scoreline was unfair to them. It really was. And s how was it difficult to block young boys' attacker from scoring? It wasn't easy. So guys, now we're playing the match between us and, of course, Gorlin. Um, Jordan are struggling a lot, that's just what I want to say before you, you see the highlights. They're, they are a really struggling team in this league. So, we've went into this match with a lot of pride, I want to say that, a lot of pride because we've drew twice against them previously. So, we wanted to win this. We went with this formation. Con Brito on the right, which I wanted to try. Omaragic, Alves, Sorter, Scramble, Crazio and Popovic again. And of course, this, the trio up front of Kelly, Mahi and Sean Bochler. So, 23rd minute here, first chance, goal and converted. And they go 1 0 up at the start. I, ca I have to say, man, we, we struggle defending. I, Legendary is too difficult for me in defending. So we try to go. I tried to pass it here. We tried to go and the attack and score. We tried to pass it, but it was between a sh short and pass. Nothing. But Mahi went here. As long as we tried to score, we never did. So 1 0 for a goal, and is how the match ended. Another loss. Disappointment is all on my face. And I uh, need to just keep on going and forget about this totally. So guys, now we have a very, very, very important match. So as we lost to Golan, which was really bad, we didn't get an advantage, a bigger advantage over Lugano. So if we lose today, we're gonna get, to, we're gonna go to the fourth place because Lugano is going to be obviously in front of us so they're going to have an advantage over us so now we have a pre-match press conference which I'm going to attend obviously um, although it seemed unlikely back when it started all playing European football next season is well within your reach with only a few matches remaining can you t can your team gain European football next season? Um, we'll handle the pressure. That's what I hope. I hope we handle the pressure. <coughs> How will you approach the upcoming match? Focus on playing well. That's what I want. We, I want to focus on playing well and not lose it because it's super important. Do you hope to bring stability to your team's performance? Uh, my players will improve soon. I hope. So guys, let's look at the table. So the, the league title is far from already. is quite won now from FC Basel. As they have 71 points, incredibly have only lost once against us and drew twice. Don't know against who they drew though, but they did draw, draw th twice. They draw once against young boys. I'm sure about that, and they don't remember. But 71 points, so you can say they won the league. Ten matches left for them. We have 11 matches left. There's not much to do. Even the second place is quite gotten from young boys. It's really difficult for them to slip that much to let us win. But I'm gonna hope for the best. We slipped against goal and we slipped. Three times against Golden we slipped. We drew twice and we lost. We lost twice against Turn. We, we lost against Sion. We lost against Lugano. We, lo we lost so many times. Eight times we lost and draw twice. So we really need to improve our performances if we want to go somewhere. 
hopefully from next season we'll be much better I'm gonna try to sign some new players not tr but not I'm not gonna try to change too much the, f the, the formation <coughs> So guys, usual formation, it's just that I played Scramble instead of Karabatse because he's been playing better than Karabatse uh, lately. He has the, the defensive awareness which Karabatse doesn't have. He just runs in weird positions. He just runs and does nothing about it. Cr Scramble is slower but knows what to do with his pace. Rurig, I'm really sad for this man here. He's not performing well. He, I. I th I'm really considering selling him and getting the money and try to rebuild more the squad, sign a better right back and continue building my squad because it's really not that worth it having a good player like him keep on training him even though he's not very good and he's supposed to be the captain so he has to be even better than he is. So guys we're here for this match against Lugano which I didn't think I'm going to play live with my live microphone, live commentary. Exactly thought I was going to make a post commentary but it's so important that I can't not make it live com. So I have to do it. Guys pressure is on, I don't know how I'm feeling the pressure. Having lost against goal and I... I'm not feeling that that well about this. He, he was very good at the start with the first formation because he always made that runs and shoot and score. Yeah, attacking wise he's very good, but defensive wise he's very bad. He doesn't do anything at all. Maybe he's good as a right mid. Not even as a CM, he's good. He's Okay, he's good as CM, I can play him as that, as that because that's his second formation, or CDM. But he's not even good at that, because he's he's just fast. He's fast, he's caught crossing, but... His positioning is very bad, that's his problem, his, his positioning. Even his, de his defending is so bad. Oh, and you score here! While I was th talking, uh, and we score here with Don Gioni, which is scoring so much lately. Don Gioni puts us in front again. We go 1-0 up to Lugano in a very important scenario here. This match is very important for us. Oh my god, it's offside though, it's offside. It is offside, oh my god, it was so hard to consider a goal like that. Even his, it was even between his legs. It was between Con's legs. It wasn't much offside, man. It really wasn't. Looks promising, this. Target to aim at. Not all that. Mon de la Vega, slow ball. Pedro de la Vega. Pedro de la Vega. They don't normally need a second invitation to get the ball. Great pass, Dr. Tony Domgioni. Lucas in match up. It's not offside. It's a goal and we go 2 0 up, guys. And I think I can say it's quite real that we can win this match now. It's right in our hands. Great run from Tony Domgioni who gets an assist. Could have got a goal, but I didn't want to risk it so positive. Lucas in match up. And Tony Domgioni is finally becoming decisive. And this goal. Should it even been a goal because it was well, a glitch glitch through Metal's foot. So, okay, we we're even um, stealing goals. What a goal from Gonzalo Moroni! Oh my god, guys, this has to be one of the best goals. Oh my god, what a finish, so the skill moves and that finish, oh my god, Gonzalo Maroni is a real good player man, well, look at this see. goal, so he gets the ball on the wing, the skill move, curved shot on the top corner side netting, oh well, my god, again, that's so, angle. that's so clean, well, look at that guys, so beautiful. Oh my god, man. That was truly unstoppable. I could have done nothing about that. So, 3 1.
Yeah, Mishish, come on, you have to get this now. You've lost the ball. No way this is a penalty, man. No way this is a penalty. There's no way this is a penalty, man. <coughs> and they scored it. It's 3-1. 3-2. They've got two goals back. There's no, there's no way they can't. They're coming back from this. I'm going to be so furious if they do. Game ends here, guys. Three, two. The, the, the scoreline lies a bit. It's unfair to us. The scoreline. It wasn't too close at all. The last moments they've got two goals, but still. So guys, the gap now is of six points, and we have. Quite a clearer gap now between the third place and the fourth place. So Nathan is continuing his hot run of form. How satisfied are you with his performance? Um, don't get carried away. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Get, get carried out there. Get carried away, as we still have a long road ahead of us. You you won, but FC Lugano managed to close the gap and cause the late scare. How do you prove defensively moving forward? Um, good lesson, definitely. How do you feel about sealing FC Lugano's fate? They will most likely relegate. What? Relegate? It's a competition, of course. We're in a competition to win, just as everybody else. All the teams give their all and play. Right. So guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you've liked and enjoyed the video. And look at the table now. So we've got 26 matches. The Ghana has still a match in front of us. Still as, as a match in front of us, they lost again against FC Basel. So now we have the chance to really make the gap big. And nine point gap between us and Lugano would be very good for me. Young boys have still to play against Servet. So there's still a 12 point gap between us. Um, Basel is way in front of everyone. They're just surely going to win the league now. There's no doubt about it. They have only nine matches left. 74 points, guys. Like. Look at this team, FC Basel, like, one loss, which is against us, I'm, I'm feeling so proud that we're the only, teams who, the only team who has defeated them, and two draws, um, we've got, but our losses man, we've got eight losses, eight losses, so we've got two losses to Thun, one loss to Golin, one loss to Lugano, one loss to Young Boys, Two losses to Basel, which is already seven, and another one against Sion, of course. Three, eight losses, guys. Eight losses. That's insane. And two draws. One against two. Both of them against Golan, actually. It's incredible, guys. It's, an, it's a fantastic league. I'm really excited for the next season. Bye, guys. See you next time.